Why do people say things like, um, I want to come up for Netflix and chill, or you want to come up for coffee? You know, let's say it's a man saying it to a woman. You know, she wasn't born yesterday. She's a grown up. She knows what it means. But it's still way better than, hey, you want to come up and have sex? Which would make both parties, you know, pretty uncomfortable. Even though, would you like to come up for coffee? doesn't make them uncomfortable. Other examples being, say, a veiled bride. Let's say you're trying to jump the queue in a restaurant and you slip the maitre d' a $20 bill and say, I was wondering if you might have a cancellation. This is an important night for me. Is there any way to shorten my weight? Why don't people just say, uh, if I give you $20, will you seat me right away? Or fundraising. I've seen this a lot at Harvard. I'm sure you've seen a similar thing where the dean will say to the rich people in the audience, we're counting on you to show leadership, uh, to be a friend to the university, instead of the reason we're all here is we hope that you're going to open your checkbook and write us, you know, a check for five million dollars. You know, it's another case where people don't say what they mean, and I suggest that technically what's happening is that the blurted out speech generates common knowledge. Common knowledge is the basis of our relationships; they're coordination games, euphemism and innuendo get a message across without generating common knowledge. And that's why we fall back on it so often.